of Bachelorette, Bachelor, Rachel Lindsay, and uh, Brian Abasolo are getting a divorce. This happened last week while I was on YouTube break. And I wanted to jump on, but I was like, no, I have to take this time off. And then it was supposed to be the first thing I talked about when I came back, which was yesterday. But, you know, then the beautiful Miss Nia Long got a couple of dollars in child support. And I just had to talk about that. So today I will be talking about Rachel and Ryan. I am surprised, but I'm not shocked. I'm surprised, but I'm not shocked because you could see the tea leaves. Okay. And I really love Rachel as the first black uh, bachelorette. I love the show. I just can't deal with the spit swapping. So I might start out watching and then I'll drop off. And I just think it's a really slow moving show for me. And you know, I just needed to speed up. The reason why I love this show is that the woman get to choose she gets to choose her knight in shining armor. And I absolutely love that. And I absolutely love that for Rachel. And I am just really saddened that they are getting a divorce. Um, some people are saying it's the whole baby thing. And I'm like, wait, wasn't that the couple that had fertility issues? But then somebody said, no, Janice, that's not you mixing up the couples. But then I was watching one of her videos and she was saying how you know, they're going to start talking to doctors about IVF and, and, and stuff like that. But anyways, we'll talk about that later. But my heart goes out to Rachel because uh, everybody's saying she was blindsided, but I, I, I don't think, I don't think people are blindsided by divorce. I think that you could see it. You could you know, there are things that's happening. And one of the issues people have with this couple is that they keep their marriage private. I don't have any problems with that. I think every married couple should keep their marriage private. I'm not saying you can share, but if you're having problems in your marriage, do not talk about it on social media. Do not talk to your friends about it. Do not talk about to your family about it. If you are having problems in your marriage, the best place to talk about it is in the protection of a marriage counselor's office where you guys can talk through and work through. And of course, both of you praying and seeking the Lord. But I do not have a problem with, with couples keeping their marriage private because your marriage is private and it's a covenant. And I'm not saying you can share, right? You can share certain things, some things, but as far as problems you guys are having, I just don't think you should, you should, and I don't think you should post everything on social media. Okay. You don't need to post uh, every, every waking day, every minute of your marriage on social media. I just don't think couples should do that. So they are getting a, a divorce and Brian, you want, you want, uh, child support. you want, you want spousal support, Brian, spousal support, you dusty. Spousal support. Okay, but wait, you know, well, I might have to backtrack that for a minute. But I was shocked, Brian, when I see that you put the first date of separation as December 31st. I got some notes here. But you filed January 2nd. What is that all about? And you want spousal support. So now everybody's saying, oh my gosh, she should have went with Peter. But then the other half of everybody say, no, Peter really didn't love her. It was more like love. He really didn't care about her. He was always crying. And girl, I'm like, I can't stand no crying man. Okay. But I really love Rachel. I love her. I love Brian. I really wanted to see this couple work out. But again, I'm not, I'm surprised, but I am not shocked uh rachel the whole chris thing to me i think it was overdone i'm gonna be honest with y'all i didn't say nothing at the time i might have said it in secrecy but um it to me it was 
No, Rachel. Mm -mm. I just, mm -mm. the whole Chris thing. And I could tell how uncomfortable Brian was in interviews when she was talking about it later. And I just, I just feel like it, 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 the black girl came out. And I think with these men, you can't let the black girl come out. Okay. Hang on. Let me wake uh, my kiddo up. y'all so we're gonna read this article by uh la times i think it is but happy monday today's january 8th it's like the, the year's already going so fast how was your weekend i had a wonderful weekend thank you for those of you who've checked out my shorts and the videos i did yesterday please remember to check out my freedom money channel and my Son of the Bible channel. I'll be doing a couple more videos over there. I know a few of you have emailed me for one-on-ones. I am not doing any one-on-ones this, uh, this month because I still have to finish my one-on-ones with my uh, my husband profile class because I had to rush, uh, finish for NaNoWriMo. And so I won't be doing any, any one-on-ones. Be sure to subscribe, thumbs up, share this out, help me to grow my channel. Let's hopefully... We can we get to 100,000 cousins this year? Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. Uh, thank you for those of you who's picking up my books, leaving the comments for me. I love you. I love you. Okay. So according to the LA Times, the Bachelor star Rachel Lindsay and husband Brian Abasolo are calling it quits. The Bachelor's Rachel, Lindsay, and Brian are calling it quits more than six years after Lindsay 38 gave Abasola the first and last red rose of the Bachelorette. Season 13, Abasola filed to dissolve their marriage. According to court documents obtained by the LA Times, the chiropractor 43 filed for divorce on Tuesday in LA. If you've been following me for a while, he says, you know I don't like to put my personal fears on social media. And like to keep a safe space for our family. Absolutely. I love that. Uh, many of you know me as a chiropractor and also a husband. My proudest role so far. After more than four years of marriage, Rachel and I have made the difficult decision to part ways and start a new Abasola role on Instagram on Tuesday. My peers have been married forever and I'm a family man. But sometimes loving yourself and your partner means you, you must let go. I wanted you to hear it from the source before the blogs start making up their reality. Please respect the spaces of our family and friends as we figure out our next step. After wrapping Lindsay's season of The Bachelorette, the pair navigated a long-distance relationship with Lindsay working as an on-air correspondent for Extra in LA and Abasola at the hem of his chiropractor practice in Miami. Right there. Y'all not supposed to be separate. You're supposed to be together, okay? In 2021, Lindsay addressed dissolved rumors while chatting with Andy Cohen on Radio Andy and said that although there was speculation that they were splitting because they resided on opposite coasts, they were the real deal. The odds are against you, Lindsay told Cohen, regarding a couple staying strong after meeting through dating reality series. I mean, I got to go through all these men to figure out who it is that you want to spend your life with. Then you got to deal with the court of public opinion, all these people telling you what you should have done, how you should have navigated your season. Then you got to deal with family, right? Family doesn't really believe it. You know, my dad is a federal judge. He was like, you guys are infatuated with each other. He was not buying into it. It took time for him to realize we are really in love and this was the real deal. In November, 2023, Lindsay told E! News that she and Abasola were hoping to start a family of their own, but that it had been more difficult than they, the pair anticipated. And this is where people were saying, 
that, you know, one of the issues is the whole family issues. She's 38, you know, he 43. But in the interview that I saw, she said that they were going to start seeing um, uh, IV of specialists. And my doctor told us that when you're over 35, under 35 years old, you can start, you could try uh, for one year without getting medical intervention. But if you're over 35, you can try six months without medical uh, intervention. And then if you've been trying for six months and you don't get pregnant, then there's some medical, you know, that's when you go see the doctor. You don't try two and three, four, five, 10 years without talking to your doctor about it. Okay. Especially for those of us women who are older. Okay. We tried for four months and I got pregnant on the fourth month. Okay. The first month I was in my doctor's so office. Like, I'm not pregnant. <laughs> I'm not pregnant. She's like, go home, child. I you just start checking up. Next month, <laughs> February, January. We start trying January. I'm not pregnant. February. <laughs> I'm not pregnant. <laughs> I'm not pregnant. She said, go home. <laughs> March. <laughs> I'm not pregnant. Oh my God, I'm not pregnant. <laughs> she was like, okay, this is what you do. <laughs> do this, do that, do that. And uh, that year we had went to church and for pastor had called us up for couples. Mary comes. Mary, bring the marriage certificate. <laughs> Who want to have babies come up? I pray over y'all. That was January. He prayed over us. And uh, next month I was pregnant. I was pregnant. Okay. So after, you know, if you've been trying for a minute, there need, you need to see the doctor and start running some tests to see uh, what's going on. Okay. Uh, it's something that we want. <clears throat> The farmer bachelor told the oh, outlet at the Alzheimer's uh, Association, California chapter, peace of mind luncheon. It's been harder than I thought it would be. We're trying. You think, oh, yeah, then I'm ready. I'll make it happen. But it's just been a little bit more difficult for us. But we're definitely starting the process. It's hard for me to even wrap my, my head around being a mom. The reality star and author continue. But I have two nephews who I am obsessed with. So I think it's great in our family unit and started our own members, our own traditions that both Brian and I had in our family. We have two different cultures. So I'm so excited to bring my culture, Brian, he's from California, Columbia and to create this unit together. I'm looking, I'm really looking forward to that. Representatives for Lindsay did not immediately respond to the times request for comment. So, <clears throat> So there you have it. it. You know, it's really sad. It, it really is sad because I, I was really hoping for them. But again, I'm surprised, but I'm not shocked. Um, you know, I, I was seeing little things. I didn't say anything because we don't really talk about the bachelor on here. I try to review it when the black girls are on, but I just, oh, child, the swapping of the spit is just can't for me. Okay. Um, but, um, I'm 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 really sorry that you know they're going through this and that he's he's filed and he wants spousal support. And I'm gonna come back and talk about that because they didn't talk about it in the article, but I'm gonna come back and talk about that. I have some notes here that I want to come back and talk about. So let me know what you think. Did you see the tea leaves? Do you think Rachel would have made a better match with Peter? I think his name was, and who was the other guy? It was Peter and him? I don't remember. So um, let me know. I really like Rachel and Brian. So let me know. What do you guys think? But I'm going to come back and talk about the him wanting spousal support. I'm going to talk, come back and talk about what the people are saying and why did he file for divorce in January? I'll come back and talk about that. I absolutely love you. I adore you. When am I going to do a show to Strawberry Girl? I don't know. I don't know. I got to, uh, but I absolutely love you. I adore you. Let me know what you think. Thank you for those of you who have picked up my books on Amazon. So the Bible in one year is going on. Be sure to check that video out. I absolutely love you. Adore you, darlings. Let me know what you think. Bye.